every person in this country knows deep down that our schools are targets. Congresswoman Cori Bush and other St. Louis officials say they're heartbroken and angry after Monday's school shooting. That's what happens when the people with the power to take action to get guns off our streets and protect our children refuse to do so. In a tweet Tuesday, President Biden renewed his calls for a federal assault weapons ban. Congresswoman Bush is also pushing for that ban and called on Republican lawmakers to help combat the gun violence crisis. And if it means stepping away from the dollars you receive, you need to do so. In July, the U.S. House passed a federal assault weapons ban similar to the one the U.S. had in the 90s, but it's unlikely the U.S. Senate will take any action before the current congressional session ends in January. On Monday, Democrats on the House Judiciary Committee said in a tweet, that mass shooters continue to use assault weapons because they're engineered to kill as many people as possible. House Judiciary Republicans responded with, Democrats want to take your guns, and they're not hiding it anymore. Authorities are still investigating how the St. Louis shooter got the AR-15 style rifle and the more than 600 rounds of ammunition. Police say mental health concerns led them to take a gun away from him and give it to a family member. Now authorities say that could be the same weapon that was used in the shooting. In Washington, Alexandra Limon.